Uh huh. Where those people where they where they always they complain about yeah anytime where they enter European, calm down. Yeah, yeah, good. They pain them. Make I show now. When I see this bottle of water now, you don't chop them. That's thing where they do now. Now waiting, give this bottle of water. This figure, now figure eight. I, I go call this one. I've been a figure six. Now in the aeroplane, don't give this bottle of water now. I've been a BBL, so now BBL, they don't give this one like this. So make one I say I know be only for on a body the thing they happen. Even as the bottle of water no full. We don't take off, we don't land. Now I bring out my bottle of water. See the ship with pressurization for inside the aeroplane give up. So which shape is this one? From this side, which shape you go call this thing guy? Side. Eh, from that side where you're in, uh, as they look at uh, the shape, they're confusing. Yeah, yeah. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> the reason, uh, <laughs> it be like figure seven. <laughs> oh. So, anyways, so for all of that, we don't always complain, say, Oh, that here they pay no, I always they tell them, say, the thing they happen more, especially when the plane they descend for climb out, it they happen, but not small because. The aircraft uh, pressurization, it they vary from the place where you did for ground. As they climb, they go up. The thing go they adjust inside the aeroplane. Go they adjust small, small. They go up. But on descent, it they they pause. Now you don't give this bottle. You don't give them BBL shape now. And you know pay. Right? You say be human being. Say the bottom of human being for tell and say me the chew chewing gum. So that in here, where they equalize the pressure. Now the pressure where they for inside the aeroplane is high past the pressure where they for inside the bottom. Now you come making shape come day like this. As the two pressure, they battle with each other. With the one way high pass, don't win the one way low. Alright? And as they, they talk, um, if two elephants they fight, na ground na in the sofa round. So the ground we suffer this one now. Na the bottle. Na in sofa round. Anyways, the water we they inside we will still drink and shall. We we'll still drink drink and clean mouth. Now so it they be pressurization, no be small something for inside the aeroplane. No. Yeah. You they inside the tube, they they fly you go. You know go no say now go inside tube. And you they if you know they equalize the pressure where they for inside your eardrum. I've been a eustachian tube. People will do biology where we what is the call that place? And if you know they equalize them, and this kind of thing now you go and ain't gonna happen to you. Anyways, it is what it is. So if you want to make it stop, or make it no worry you when you fly. Make you the chew chewing go. Or may you pitch your nose blow out ear air, air from your ear. Or may you simulate your in open your mouth wide. Which other one again? Some persons go say you say they, they play music. And I say they help them too. Which other one? If they discuss with your neighbors, if they talk. By your eardrum, they open, they equalize the pressure, small, small. Especially during this end, too. Now that one, like, that day, now, now that time, nine people go take you, say, as they land there, and I saw their ear just blow. Oh, it be there. Be there, like, say, make their ear, ear blow out. I be that. Especially for first time flyers. And, you know, people will know too, they fly. Now, now this update, they for, so may wanna try, practice some more. And anytime before you enter a plane. Try buy chewing gum, put for mouth, eh? It go help you. If not, headache will worry you for three days before you they realize say you travel, come back. So we don't watch that video finish, Abby. Good. You know, say um the sum of us we don't watch the previous video where I drop about pressurization. When I go understand within happen for inside that bottle where we all right. Like I mentioned for the first, um 
pressurization affects we human being more when the aircraft is descending. Let me give you an instance. You know, when we are climbing, our body system inside our ear, like they call it, I think it's the middle ear, that is where that pressurization uh, stuff happens. So we are normal on ground. Everything feels normal with us. Our inner ear, our middle ear is having the required amount of pressure inside it. Now they close the doors of the airplane. We take off. As we are taking off, aircraft is climbing out. The pressure inside you, inside that your ear, because now for there, the whole pressure equalization they have inside the middle ear, uh, is normal. So it's higher than the pressure inside the aeroplane that is gradually decreasing, decreasing as we are climbing higher. Abi, for those that watched the, the previous video, if you did not watch the previous video, please click the link on this uh, post. It will direct you to that video. So you just watch it and understand what pressurization is, how it happens, and how we depressurize the aeroplane. All right? So as your body is having enough pressure, as we are climbing, you feel normal. Some persons will still tell you that it happens to them uh, that their ear used to pain them when the aircraft is climbing. Up. But majority is towards descent that it happens. So as the aeroplane is climbing, the pressure inside your ear is still higher than the one outside within the cabin. All right. But it starts to decrease gradually as the aircraft gains altitude as it climbs out until it levels out. As it levels out, it maintains a stable altitude and a stable pressure that is equivalent to that altitude that the aircraft is using at. At that time, your Internal pressure, the internal pressure inside your ear will do what? We continue to do what? To equalize and remain like that one. So by that, you, that your ear tube or the middle ear, we now do what? We come, we, we tie me up like this. So on ground, the pressure, let's say the pressure is this volume. By the time you are cruising, the pressure is this volume. Your ear, the, the pressure in your ear is this volume lesser right now why it happens more or why it affects human beings the more in their ears that they will now tell you that as we we landed i couldn't hear my ears we are popping for like three days this is what happens just like what the way it happened to that uh, uh, bottle remember like i said i opened that bottle of water when we were on ground we climbed to thirty-seven thousand crews descended so remember the there is a part if that bottle of water was to be filled up, it will remain the way it, it was from takeoff till landing. But because there is a space, I've drank the water and reduced the volume, the volume of the quantity of water inside that bottle. So there is a vacuum up. Those vacuum up now is what is inside it is pressure. I cupped it, it remained that way. As we are descending. The pressure inside that bottle of water is higher. It's bigger or, you know, it's higher than the pressure outside. That is the pressure inside the aircraft. Remember, as we went to a higher altitude, the uh, pressure was low. So as we are now descending, the pressure inside the bottle kept on fighting with the pressure inside the cabin. And that is why that uh, bottle of water was squeezed, you know, giving that BBL shape, like I, like I mentioned on that video. All right. So the same thing to us human beings, as we are descending, the pressure in your ear is just as tiny as this now. And the pressure in the cabin is as tiny as well until we kept on descending and possibly you, you did not practice any of those uh, techniques that I, I talked about, which is like chewing gum. As you're chewing gum, that pressure, relief, uh, whatever, inside our human ear will be opening and closing. As it's opening and closing, you'll be getting more uh, pressure inside your ear. If you're not chewing gum into your nose and blow out air from your ear, or you, if you do not yawn like uh, to um, open that your eardrum or something, you do not do any of this 
or you are not playing music and singing or discussing with your neighbor, as you're discussing, the, the muscles of those uh, middle ear are expanding and closing. So it's regulating, just like what that outflow valve that I made mention of in the previous video is talking about. If you are not doing that, that tiny pressure that is like this will continue to remain like this until the aircraft descends from 30 something thousand feet and lands to sea level. The pressure now outside, because as we are getting to lower altitude, it will be what the pressure will be getting higher. The pressure outside will be hitting your ear, trying to enter, enter your ear, and there is no space for it to enter because you just locked your eardrum as tiny as this. The pressure inside this is as tiny as this. Until you do what, that is where, as that pressure is hitting the one inside, the both of them are fighting each other. But this one, the one outside will be pushing the one inside more. So that is what causes those headache and, you know, um, ear popping that people always complain about whenever they finish a flight. All right. So the solution to that is what is ones that I've mentioned. Chew gum, talk with this, the discussing with your neighbor and pinch your nose and blow out air from your ear. As you do that two, three times, the air inside will go out. The volume of your eardrum will be opening uh, or the muscles will be opening and the equalizing the pressure, like the pressure relief valve that is inside an aircraft. All right. So if you practice that, I bet you, we will not be having those issues of uh, my ear is popping after we landed or I'm having headache or I'm struggling with this or I'm struggling with that. All right. So, guys, that is just it. If you have any further question about this pressurization issue, please drop it under the comment section. What will happen? I will definitely come up with the updates on that. I still love you guys. Captain Callistus, always. Cheers.